Literacy is an important and natural part of everyday family life and includes many activities that help to get things done and transmit values, culture and language. The Ministry of Education through the Belize Literacy Unit recognizes the importance of parents in the literacy development of their children and to support families in reading activities. It is our hope to build capacity at the community level to develop and improve literacy standards in the country of Belize. I'm Rosalind Bradley, the Literacy Coordinator for the Ministry of Education. My name is Carol Babb and I am the Deputy Chief Education Officer in the Ministry of Education and Youth. Traditionally, literacy is reading and writing, but more recently, um, literacy has taken several meaning in terms of technological literacy, mathematical literacy, and so on. And so the levels of literacy has really um, increased. The demands of functional literacy is um, really higher. And so literacy is not just limited to reading and writing, but includes interpretation, being able to express and communicate yourself. Um, the goal of the Ministry of Education is to improve the quality of education that we provide to all students. And we realize that literacy is the foundation for all other forms of learning. So we developed the, or we established the literacy unit because we realize that literacy is very, very important. It is very essential for all other subject areas. If our students cannot read and write properly, then they will not be able to do any other subject area. The theme for international literacy is literacy and peace. And that is a kind of interesting theme when you, know, when you think of literacy and peace. But when you think about it in terms of the whole idea that literacy actually impacts the way we behave and the way we carry ourselves, even the way we communicate and we relate to each other. And so when I think about it in terms of Belize, I'm thinking that if we try to promote literacy, it also has to do with how we relate to each other, um, the level of respect that we give to each other. And so again, literacy has taken a broad, uh, very broad perspective. I would just like to encourage parents, um, teachers, students to expose their young people to books at a very early age. If children are exposed to books at a very tender age, then books and reading become a part of their lives. Research, research has shown that if children are exposed to books, it makes a difference in the way how they speak and in the way how they talk and how they write. So um, we need to expose children at a very, very early age, even as young babies, even while in the womb, mothers should read to their children, make reading a part of their daily routine so that children and others can realize that reading and writing is very, very important. From our perspective, as we work with our teachers and parents, we want to encourage everybody. Literacy has to be everybody's business. Um, in the home, parents can start very, very early by reading to their children, even before birth, certainly as those children are growing up and developing even before they reach the, the school age. Speaking to your children and stimulating oral language is also an important part of literacy um, because it has to do with communication as well. So if the children are exposed to more vocabulary, they understand their environment and they can relate to things around them. That is the foundation of literacy. So just speaking and stimulating your children, taking time to play with your child, to talk to your child, and certainly reading with your child can be very, very instrumental in promoting literacy. Join us next time as we visit early childhood centers and share strategies that can be used within the classroom and at home. Remember, it's not me, it's not you, it's us. Literacy and peace. Book a place in the future.